Welcome back to Ask Google. I'm here, your man, Shed NEP, and welcome back to Ask Google. So, what is Ask Google? I hear you say. So, what I will do is I will take a random subject. So, today it's going to be American football. Already done an episode on American sports. But today we're doing American football. Sport I know little or nothing about, really. Um, so, I wanted to find out a little bit about it. So I came out with a few questions. I put it into search engines like Google, like Siri. Others are available. And I said, tell me a bit about American football. And let's find out what I found out and see if it makes any sense to you. So I asked, how do you play American football? So this is the basic, um, this is the rules of American football. Game lasts for 15 minutes per quarter. A two minute break between the first and the second and the third and the fourth quarters. It has quarters, it has along with a 15 minute rest between the second and third quarters. Half time. Each team has four downs to gain 10 or more yards. They can either throw or run the ball to make the yards. So, okay, so gives me a rough idea. So you start at a certain line and you've got to get 10 yards. If you don't get 10 yards, guess the ball goes to the other team. That's how I read that. So, how many players play in a match? Well, there's 11 players um, on the field at a time, and it is rare that a player. Sorry, let me let me read that again because it didn't quite make sense myself. You will have 11 players on the field at a time, and it is rare that a player will play on both offensive and defense. There are big guys who serve as blockers, small guys who are in charge of catching and running with the ball. The medium-sized guys who may do both. You will also see players who kick and punt. Okay, how do you score? So points are scored as followed. A touchdown will be six points, a field goal three points, safety two points, and after a touchdown one point for a field goal or safety or two points touchdown. That made no sense to me. Hopefully those of you who understand the sports, that'll make a little bit more sense. Or, Okay, so the average age, um, age of a player. So, a player normally, sorry, yeah, that doesn't make any sense that it hasn't actually answered it. What it's actually come up with is the average expectancy of a player is about 3.3 years. According to a source, the average career length is about 3.3 years for players across the NFL. So, a little bit there. So I asked it the best player ever, and I don't know who this player is, but hopefully some of you may do. Best player ever was Jerry Rice, was chosen as the top player of all time, with Jim Brown as the second choice. Most successful teams, not sure, but as a single season, many say the 1985 Chicago Bears. Oldest team established in 1898, 121 years ago. The first season of NFL um, was 1920. Previous names, Chicago Cardinals, um, Card Pitts, St. Louisiana Cardinals, Phoenix Cardinals, and the Arizona Car Cardinals to present. Film home field is the State Farm Stadium in Grendel, Arizona. Current owner owners is Bill Bidwilt. Current colors, Cardinal Red, Black and White. So, according to this, it is the um, Arizona Cardinals in American sports, which is what I've done earlier. It told me it was the Chicago Bears, so I don't really know. Who's played the most games? So, m remember, it's 3.3 years is the average. Moore Anderson has played from 1982 to 2007, who played in 382 NFL games. He was a pace kicker. Holds the record for the most consecutive games with 248 games. Pretty damn impressive. Career history, he was um, at the New Orleans Saints from 1982 to 1994. Atlanta Falcons, 1995 to 2000. New York Giants in 2001. Kansas City Chiefs, 2002-2003. Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings, 2004. And Atlanta Falcons from 2006 to 2007. Which team has played the most matches? The Chicago Bears. 
while there are only two charter members of the NFL still in existence, the Chicago Bears have played the most games um, with 1,384 and recorded both the most wins with 777 and tied of 42. In NFL regular season history, as of the end of the 2020 NFL season, the biggest stadium in American football is the MetLife Stadium. Uh, its capacity is 82,500. Um, and the New York Jets and the New York Giants both play there, and it costs $1.6 billion. Originally known as the Meadowlife Stadium, the MetLife came about as an agreement of two NFL teams, New York Jets and New York Giants, to collectively construct the biggest NFL stadium. Located in New Jersey, East Rutherford, the architect's duration concept in constructing the stadium is top-notch. For instance, because of the stadium's dual ownership, the light colours in the stadium switch at intervals to reflect the teams playing at the stadium. As the biggest stadium with about 82,500 seats in capacity, the MetLife is also dual training facility for the two teams. It also houses amenities and accommodations dates of events within the facilities i know the metlife center stadium personally because i'm a wwe fan and that was the home of wrestlemania in the past uh biggest ever player alan gibson the name that strikes fear into the hearts of the opponents on the field alan gibson is also a player deserving to be called the heaviest nfl player ever and yes gibson is probably the league of his own because he maintained a bulky physique throughout his entire career having been heavy artillery for both the Detroit Lions, Dallas Cowboys and Chicago Bears. He would maintain a solid 410 pounds standing at six foot six. If you thought Gibson was heavy in high school, you can guess right. 440 pounds was his weight back then. We can say he was showing signs of becoming the heaviest NFL player. Even back then, a gentle giant and a great guy. Overall, Alan Gibson is the player to take the biggest player. Yeah, whoever he is. Smallest ever player, Jack Soapy Shaparo, weight five foot height, sorry, five foot wide position, fullback. Don't know what that means. Officially recognised as the shortest player to ever play play in what would eventually become the NFL. Shapiro saw action in only one professional game. The smallest NFL player ever to jump for the Staten Island Stapletons in 1929 and hung around on the roster for a total of five games. Although he never reached superstar status, he helped pave the way for shorter players for years to come. Supi, we salute you. Highest ever score? The Washington Redskins and the New York Giants combined total of 113 points in one game. On November 27, 1966, the Washington DC, the Redskins outscored the Giants 72 to 41. Lowest scoring Super Bowl, hang on. Pittsburgh Steelers 3, Miami Dolphins nil in 2007. These teams put in just a single field goal on the board in what would become the lowest scoring game in modern NFL history. It was no surprise that Pittsburgh scored that field goal since Miami was nil and 10 at the time. How does that work then? It says it's 3 now. And I got a different score. I don't really know what happened there. The surprise was that Miami stayed in the game that is until the Steelers kicked the game winner with 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Vegas had the Steelers at 16 point favourites and the over under set at 38.5 in the end. Pittsburgh quarterback Ben wasn't down through for just 165 yards, plus the Steelers gained only another 84 on the ground. It was good enough, however. It, as Miami only managed 159 yards in total offense and fell to a 11-0 defeat. I don't actually understand that answer there because none of it made any sense to me. Maybe that's why I don't like American football. Most championships, the Green Bay Packers have won the most NFL championships and it is not even close. They have nine. Who's won the most Super Bowls in NFL? The Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Patriots have won. The most Super Bowls, the Steelers have gone to the Super Bowl eight times and they have won six of them. So I'm imagining that to win the NFL, 
doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be in the Super Bowl. I imagine the Super Bowl is a Super Bowl, a bit like the FA Cup is a different tournament altogether. I don't know. This isn't helping me any any the wiser. Uh, most Super Bowl lost the New York Patriots and the Denver Broncos. Broncos are tied for losing the most games in Super Bowls with five losses. How does the draft work? What if a player doesn't want to be drafted to a certain team? Does every player from every team get drafted each year? Well, these questions I don't know because I didn't actually ask them, but they are good questions to me. So I hope that one made any sense because it didn't really make a lot of sense to me, especially the um, the lowest scoring match of all time. Okay, anyway, that's been my little delve into a bit of American football there. Again, like I say, when I done the um, American sports one, it told me that the Chicago Bears were the oldest team, and now it's telling me that it was the Arizona Cardinals. I don't know. Anyway, hope you did find that one slightly interesting. I have to say I didn't really learn a lot personally, but there you go. Um, that's what Ask Google's all about. You put the questions in, you may get different answers to different times. And that shows because it just did. Anyway, this has been Ask Google. That has been American football. Possibly going to come back to American football again in the future. Who knows? As a boy growing up, don't know why I went with Chicago Bears, but couldn't give a monkeys, really. Don't have a favourite American um, football team because I don't actually watch it, so it makes no sense to me. As I say, maybe if I watch it, I could be a little bit more enthusiastic about it. But do give us a like, give us a share, and don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have more Ask Googles coming soon. See you, pals!